MLB The Show 17 is a daunting game. It's a simulation of baseball like no other. Inside that simulation is a load of options and tools you may not always think about when you get into the repetition of playing game after game in your franchise of Diamond Dynasty. But these tools can lead to you becoming a true master at that game. So let's take a look at the five things you need to master in MLB The Show 17. Let's get it. Number five is mixing up your pitch delivery and time to the plate. Once a runner is on base, your opponent is looking for anything they can to get a jump on you to steal a base. So you have to get comfortable with throwing from the stretch while also changing up the time it takes for you to throw to the plate. As a result, keeping the base runner on their heels, and if done successfully, you'll be gunning down runners consistently because you've thrown their time in all of it. Number four is bullpen management. Towards the end of the game, working the platoon splits can become your best friend. If you look at that lineup and you see your opponent has a power lefty who struggles versus lefties, wedged between two so-so right-handed hitters coming up, your best bet is to warm up that lefty specialist to neutralize their biggest threat. Or you run across the guy who has four straight righties or preferably lefties in a row coming up in the lineup. That can cause major trouble for them in the 8th or ninth innings if you plan accordingly. Number 3 is Pickoffs. While pickoffs don't really happen much in real life, unless you were Andy Pettit, throwing over to the base to keep someone close can be invaluable, and controlling the running game in MLB The Show 17 can pay off in a big way. If you let a runner with decent speed get that extra step, there's a good chance he's going to easily pick up a stolen base on you. Number 2 is Opposite Field Hitting Learning how to hit to the opposite field at the same time can fix a mistake many hitters have at the plate in trying to pull everything. This is why sliders low and away are so popular in righty versus righty and lefty versus lefty matchups. Because it takes advantage of guys' tendencies to want to get a jump on the ball and pull everything, and not let the ball travel deep in the strike zone to take it the other way. My best advice is to assume everything is going to be outside, so you're prepared for it and can adjust your time and shallow pitch end up there. And if they throw a high inside fastball, you can speed up your swing. Instead of expecting an inside fastball like many do and they throw a changeup away, since your timing is already sped up thinking the fastball, you're vulnerable to the outside pitch. And if somebody can tell all you want to hit is inside pitches down the line, then you're in trouble. An easy way to tell if your timing is improving on pitches towards the outside of the plate is if the ball is still being hit towards your batter side. The more you can take outside pitches the other way, the better hitter you become. And the number one thing you need to master is the power swing. While the power swing is not something you want to abuse as you're voluntarily shrinking your PCI when you really don't need to yet, there are certain situations in the game and counts when you're expecting a fastball, for example, where that power swing is necessary over a normal or contact one. The key is to use it with the right hitter at the proper time to give yourself the best chance of sending one over the fence. One example is if your power hitter has a first pitch hitter player quirk. It wouldn't hurt if you see something you like to swing for the fences on a first pitch. Also towards the end of the game, and it's tied or you're down by a run or two. Playing small ball starts to work against you, so if you have a player with high power rating, you can start to let it rip on any pitch in the zone. It could be the difference between a crushing defeat or a slow jog around the bases. Uh oh, he got the big a drive that's got a chance, and that ball is gone to tie it. So there are five things you need to master in MLB The Show 17. Becoming a master at any game is a huge task, and accomplishing that feat in this game is something in which you can take pride in. So I hope these tips can help send you down that path. And stay tuned for more MLB tips here at Sports Gamers Online, so subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris, thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Brantley going back, still ranging back. Ball game!